75 to 80 percent water change. Check out how clear. That's crispy, guys. I mean, it would be nice if I could make a little cash from it, no? <sighs> so what do you think? Looks awesome, right? The mini move, I'm calling it. I know I promised you guys a move from here to another location. I like the new setup, guys. I like seeing both tanks behind me, right? Awesome. And I got to thinking since we did some renovation in here, say a little new cabinetry for the guest room slash studio slash everything room. Sorry about that camera work there. So anyway, yeah, today's video will be about how I transferred that over. It seems like an easy process, guys, and it's not difficult. But along the way, I made some mistakes and I was goofing up a lot. It's stressful. If you stay to the end, you'll see some of my screw-ups that I made while I was trying to do all this. Jeez, I almost forgot. New subscribers, old subscribers. I just noticed I slipped over the 500 mark, 500 subscribers. So in my tiny world, 500 isn't bad. Obviously, I'm not doing this for the money, guys. It's just fun, and I enjoy it. I mean, it would be nice if I could make a little cash from it, no? <sighs> it's a mini move. It's a small move from one part of the room to the other. But if I were to move across town, or if you were to move across town, it's the same process, only you have to obviously get a tank into your car and then from your car or truck or whatever over to the new location. But everything else is still the same. It's just that you're taking longer in between moves. So I went from one side of the room to the other. And I just thought, I'm looking around, I just thought this would be much nicer to be able to see both tanks at the same time. All right, so what I did was 75 to 80 percent water change on the five and a half to get it here. I emptied the water all the way down except a few inches, just enough so the fish would not be too overwhelmed and panic. I left them right in the tank. Obviously you can't do this with a larger tank. You'd have to take stuff out. But in this case, I just did a water change lifted it up and carried it over. Here, how's it going guys? Alright guys, so the main goal here is to make this happen as easy as possible. I'm changing the water today. So what I'll do is I'll change probably 75% of the water make it real nice and light. I'm going to get rid of the hair algae that I've been trying to get rid of. Only instead of filling the tank back up, I'm going to lift it all together with everything inside it and carry it over where I said I was. All right? So I'm updating you on the hair algae also because it's been an issue. I haven't seemed to be able to get rid of it. <laughs> So I'm taking everything off. I'll leave the wave maker going a little bit. I'll clean the skimmer. I'll do all my cleaning. Then I'll take some water out. Just before I take the water out, I'll brush the hair algae off. And then I'll suck it up with the siphon tube, get as much out as I can, and then we'll move it over. This has now been a week and a half to two weeks, almost two weeks. I let it go last week. I didn't clean it. But see how the algae is growing inside this skimmer? 
It's obviously because of the light. If you're looking close at the five gallon, I opted not to put the skimmer back in. I know that I made a big deal over it, that a skimmer's important, but I got a little bit inspired when I went to see my brother's aquarium. He had no skimmers on his. I do large water changes, and even with the skimmer, I was still getting a high phosphate reading. So I'm gonna decrease my feeding, and I'm gonna try it without the skimmer. All right, guys, what I do here is probably seen it before, bowl of water. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the wave maker off and I'm gonna to start to pull out the hair algae with my fingers if I can fit down inside. If not, I'll go down a little lower with the water and use the brush also. And then what I'll do is I'll let the hair algae kind of settle and then I'll go in and siphon it out when I change the water. tested nitrate and phosphate after the large water change and I'm showing trace in both now after a 75 percent water change you should have no nitrate if you had a small amount to begin with and the phosphate just before the change about two or three days as soon as I got home from my vacation I did a little lanthanum so it's showing zero phosphate in this tank and zero nitrate. I've emptied a little bit of the water out, guys, so I can get my hand in, and I'm also gonna blast the heck. This thing, I think I showed you this in my bad hair day. See, I've bent the end so I can kind of get it right on the end. So obviously, guys, you have to prepare ahead of time. I have to know where my plugs are gonna be. I'm gonna put everything under here. I'm gonna move this lamp. I'm gonna slide my computer over, and I'm gonna put it right on this front corner here, maybe set it back a little bit. Make sure that's prepared before you move your tank over to it, obviously. It may seem pathetic, but believe me, I've done some stupid things along the way. All right, what I got here, guys, is just a small surge protector. Not for surge so much as just to be able to plug some more things in. And I have a 15-foot extension cord because my I'm pretty maxed out down here on this outlet. I don't want to do anything to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come from this outlet down here and I'm gonna run the extension cord along the bottom of the floor. It'll be hidden most of the way over and we'll set it here. I'll move this printer over and it'll be under there, all right? I wanted to reach out to you guys that live in New Jersey. I just posted on a New Jersey club forum. What I'd like to do once a month is visit a nano aquarium within about an hour radius of where I live and that way I can do what I did a couple weeks ago with my brother I can 
interview if you'd like, or I can take images and video and just do a video revolving around your nano reef. So if you live within an hour of 07866, shoot me an email, tomreefer1 at gmail.com. Send me a picture of your aquarium, a little video clip, whatever you want. And if that's something you'd be into, I'd like to show other reefers what's going on. That would be pretty cool. All right, so what I'm doing here, guys, look at this. That's 75 to 80% water change, just enough for the fish to make the journey comfortably enough from there over to my new location. The only thing I missed was the carry. I thought I was recording it, I screwed it up, and when I set it down over here and went to shut the camera off, it was still off. So I never turned it on. So what you'll see is it goes from there over to here. All right, so what I do here, guys, is I just put this cheap pre-filter in from, you know, you can use them in fresh water. I just put that in to suck up anything like algae that's left i let that run for a half hour and water's in so we'll go from there and i reverse things if you noticed i put the wave maker on this side because with the skim 350 on this side it's kind of chunky so what i'm going to do here guys is the ato is going to come up and over and i'm going to share the reservoir with the one that I'm using for the 20. So I'm just going to share it. I'll just have to refill it a little bit more, but not much. And what I did here is just cut that section out like I did on this side. So the lid can close. It doesn't have to close tightly, but it closes enough. That's going to clear up nice. And this will be the new studio, guys. I'm thinking about not putting the skimmer back in. Just a real quick update on the Skim 350, guys. I like it, but you can't max it out on the pump. It shoots too many micro bubbles up. What I have right now is on the lowest setting. So if you're interested or you saw that video, you have to keep the Skim 350 surface skimmer down on its lowest setting. Right, this is about an hour after setup, guys. So you see what I mean by no skimmer? It just makes it look a little cleaner. This is the studio right here, see? that does it for this one have a great day and i'll see you wednesday i got some good questions already lined up people are writing in so take care now guys have a good one what i'm going to do here guys is bowl of water <laughs> i'm really liking i'm really liking the new background huh i'm looking at it in my camera here there and there and there, you know, with both tanks, mm-hmm, awesome. That's why they call me Tom Reefer. Even after almost a 100% water change, after an 85, 100%, one day after this water change, 
everything went back to normal. Daylight sun, natural daylight sun can promote large changes without it affecting your animals in the tank. <laughs> I don't know if I'm coming out blurry in this or not, but geez, am I? No, maybe not. All right. All right. Mm -hmm.